Welcome to your online math class. We are doing chapter number 4, Fractional Numbers. In this chapter, currently we are doing exercise 4.2. Today we will attempt question number 3 and all its parts. All the sums that we will solve today will be very helpful for you for past preparation. So pay attention and learn as much as you can. So let's see. First of all, we'll solve part A of question 3. Here, we have to find 1 by 3 part of 9 guavas. 1 by 3 means that we'll divide them into 3 equal parts and then consider 1 part out of 3 equal parts. For this, we have taken 9 guavas and we'll divide them into 3 equal parts. First, we'll keep one guava in each plate. Second time, again one guava in each plate. And now, we are left with three guavas and we have three plates. So, we can place one guava in each plate. This way, we have divided nine guavas into three equal parts. Now, each part is one third of nine guavas. And count of guavas in one part is 1, 2 and 3. Therefore, 1 by 3 part of 9 guavas is equal to 3 guavas. Now, let us solve the same fraction using fundamental operations. 1 by 3 part of 9 guavas is written as 9 multiplied by 1 over 3. First of all, we'll divide 9 with 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So we get the quotient 3. Now multiplying 3 with 1, we get the answer 3. Therefore, 1 by 3 part of 9 guavas is equal to 3 guavas. Now we'll solve part C of question number 3. Here we have to find 1 sixth of 18 ice creams. Dear students, here we have 18 ice creams. To find 1 sixth of these ice creams, we'll divide them into 6 equal parts. For this, we have taken 6 columns. And now, we'll place 1 ice cream in each column. Second time, again 1 ice cream in each column. And similarly, third time, 1 ice cream in each column. So this way, we have divided 18 ice creams into 6 equal parts. Now each part is 1 sixth of 18 ice creams and each part contains 3 ice creams. Therefore, 1 by 6 part of 18 ice creams is equal to 3 ice creams. Now, we'll solve the same fraction using fundamental operations. 1 by 6 part of 18 ice creams is written as 18 multiplied by 1 over 6. When we divide 18 with 6, 6 times 3 is 18. So we get the quotient 3. Now this quotient is multiplied by the number 1. 3 into 1 is 3. Therefore, 1 by 6 part of 18 ice creams is equal to 3 ice creams. Now, let us solve part E of question number 3. Here we have to find 1 by 10 part of 20 rupees. For this, we have taken 20 nodes of 1 rupee. To find 1 tenth of these nodes, we will divide them into 10 equal parts. Now, let us place these nodes into 10 equal parts. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. But we are still left with 1 rupee note. So we will place one more note in each part. And this way we have divided 20 notes into 10 equal parts. Now each part is 1 tenth of 20 rupees. And each part contains 1 and 2 rupees. Therefore, 1 by 10 part of 20 rupees is equal to 2 rupees. 
Now we'll solve part H of question number three. Here we have to find one by eight part of thirty-two ladoos. So students, here we have thirty-two ladoos. To find one by eight part of these ladoos, we'll divide them into eight equal parts. And for this, we have taken eight plates. First of all, we'll keep one ladoo in each plate. Second time. Again, one ladoo in each plate. We are still left with enough ladoos, so we can place one more ladoo in each of the plate. Now, here we have eight ladoos left, and we have eight plates. So, let us keep one ladoo in each plate. And this way, we have divided thirty-two ladoos in eight equal parts. Now, each part is. One eighth of thirty-two ladoos, and each part contains four ladoos. Therefore, one by eight part of thirty-two ladoos is equal to four ladoos. For your homework, you will solve all the parts from A to H of question number three from page number ninety-three. Thank you so much.